Hello, everybody. Well, I'd like to thank you for purchasing your Plow Wow. And once it comes to you, this video is going to show you how to assemble it. The first thing I want to show you is the tools it's going to take. All you really need is two adjustable crescent wrenches or any combination of an adjustable crescent wrench in any of these tools here. Uh, the only other thing you'll need is a screwdriver. So you'll need one of these and one of these or one of these and one of these or one of these and one of these. Or, you know, you got the picture. I'm going to speed it up using a cordless, and this is a 7 16th size head, just like on this socket, 7 16th and a 7 16th here. So that's how I'm going to be assembling this today. When you receive yours, it'll come in a box like this. Um, they sometimes will be a plow owl and a shove it if you ordered both. But in this case, this is just going to be a plow owl, and we're going to show you how it goes together. That's the top part of the handle. This is the T part of the handle. I'm just set it down here. These are your two down arms. And then this is going to be your axle and your tub. Well, hopefully yours will come out a little easier. <laughs> but they all do fit in here nicely. So this is basically the entire plow right here in one. So what's the first thing you're gonna do? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is assemble this handle part right here. And I wanna show you how easy this is. This is marked top on here, this says bottom. So they're gonna go like that. And the green goes to the green, and the red to the red. So that's the first thing you're gonna do right there. So we'll take this, pop it out here, and these are just finger tight for when I ship them to you. And that goes down through like so. And then you're going to put on your washer on the bottom here and your locking nuts. These are all locking nuts. They have a round side here and a flat side. The flat side is down, so round side out. So I'll show you how that goes on there. And just like so. And you're just going to finger tighten it for now. Take the other one, loosen it, and it should come right off. And we're going to push this right down through there. And then we're going to put the washer on and the locking nut. Just like so. Now, once you get this together, you still do not tighten it all the way yet. That's all you need to do for now. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect these arms to this part here, okay? So, it's very simple because I have everything color-coded. If you look on the back, you'll see a green here, okay? If you look on this one here, you're going to see green. So these two are going to go together. See that? Green to green. So, you just loosen this. Again, the finger tight for you. Take that off. Slide that in. You can see when it lines up right. And then you just push your bolt through the back side, and it comes through the front. Oop. Dropped another washer. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the camera. And then we're going to tighten that finger tight. Okay. Then the second piece is going to go on. And again, it's very simple because it all says how it's supposed to go, red to red. So you sh shouldn't have any trouble uh, configuring these together. And slide this in here align these holes and you're going to just push it in. Do you see that line lines up? You can see the holes lined up. Come to the back side, push your bolt through, and turn over there. There we go. And then you're going to put your washer on, like so, and your locking nut. So now we're getting there. All right, we've got that together. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to be fastening the axle on to here. I'm missing one of the uh, mm, screws that I need, but that's all right. I know they're sitting right here nearby. And go. Perfect. Now, what you're going to be doing here, as you can see from here, this is labeled top and top. So you know these go to the top. And this, these are both labeled top. So the green goes to the green, right here. You see, green to green, and red to red. Just like that, okay? Very simple, okay? Then, 
You stand this up and you slide these down. Now I've actually got a couple of marks where they can move to for the pins to work. And you can see this mark is right there is where you should slide that to, okay? Right there. And then this one has a mark here, so you can slide to that mark. Got it. There you go. Now, as you can see, I have some clamps here, pie clamps. That's what you're going to use the screwdriver for. Once you get this in position, you're going to tighten these up right here so that the pipe clamps give extra support and we won't have to worry about any of this cracking here. It gives extra strength to it. There you go. Tighten that one. Come over and tighten this one in place. I've just got them finger tight when I send them to you so you can slide the pipe over easy, but then you tighten these on. There we go. Now, once you have them tightened up, then you're going to put the blade on. And I'll show you how that is done. As you can see here again, top and top. So your blade goes like so. And what I like to actually do to make this a little simpler, find something to lean it up against like this. And then you can put the blade on and it'll be a lot easier to mount the blade through there. See how the red right here shows the red to red and green to green again? Very simple, folks. Shouldn't be difficult at all. So I'll get the four washers and bolts. And the way I'm going to do this is I want these to come through the back. So this comes through the back, goes over to the green, slides right through. Then I put on a washer and a locking nut. And I got to get a locking nut here. Should put everything up together where it's easier to reach. But that's what I'm going to do now. Gather it all together here. And we can reach everything right up here. So, we've got that in. Put our washer in here. And then we're going to put on our locking nut. Just like so. All right. Remember, these bolts need to come up through the back to the top. So, we'll go over here, push this in, line this bolt up, put it through the hole. And then we got this washer on go and this nut okay there you go not tight just finger tight for now because you want to be able to move these around to line them up and you'll see them from the side if you stand sideways like he did it's pretty easy to line these up and then you put on your locking nut we're almost done now and this is the last one and again, come through the back with the bolt. I dropped one of the nuts. And we're going to use the washers too on the back. So you got a washer and the bolt. And then this is going to line up and I can move it around because I've got everything loose. See, if I tightened everything, I'd be in trouble right there. So I've got it all loose. And then this goes on like so. All right, now I have them all on there, and now is the time when I can tighten everything. So, I come over here and get my two tools, and I'm going to put my wrench on the back, this on the front. We got it turning the right way, and zap them. One, two, Three, four. All right, so we've got the tub on there very solid. Don't need to worry about that. Next thing we're going to do is tighten these two here at this point. Done. Come up here. Tighten these two. There we go. And there you go, folks. Your plow valve is completely assembled. It is ready to do the job, and I'm sure that you'll be very pleased with it. Again, I really appreciate you taking a look at my video. You can see these and purchase them at plowwow.com. You can spell that any way you want, and you'll come to my site. And uh, if you have any questions, call me toll-free. I'm at 877-392-7296. And thank you again for your purchase, and we appreciate you checking out the video. If you like it, 
Give me a thumbs up, would you? See ya from Plow Wow Incorporated. Bye-bye.